Remember, remember the 5th of November. Happy Guy Fox Day, everybody, or Bonfire Day, or, you know, whatever the hell uh, day you call it. But uh, I guess Bonfire Day for everybody in, uh, you know, down under. And Guy Fox Day, or if you don't know what the bonfire plot is, just go look it up. Anyway, happy 5th of May. Anyway, I'm Darlington Farm. The floor in here is finally done. This bamboo stuff goes down really quick and easy. I really like it. Definitely gets the Darlington Farm thumbs up. I got to build a saddle in there. I got the wood in the shop for the doors here. And here, I don't know if we're going to build a door for here. Uh, but it's going along really nicely. Really pleased. I will say one thing about it for that flooring. Uh, use an ATP laminate blade. See if you can actually see that. This is the, uh, you know, Freud uh, laminate blade. It's got, you know, an ATP grind. It works really well uh, so you don't chew the crap out of your, uh, you know, if you've got a nice blade. Uh, the hickory is going down in here. Actually, this may get started on this tomorrow. It's trying to clean some of the stuff out of here. Um, but the downstairs here is really coming along. I'm really pleased. Um, I, we still need to do... Uh, the baseboard in here at some point. Come on, camera focus. There we go. <laughs> Refinish the baseboard, and I still have a window seat to build over here. Um, and then the baseboard in here. I didn't do the painting here, by the way. Anyway, um, yeah. Window seat in here, and I've got the outlet boxes, which now that the floor's in, here are the outlet boxes. Um, the, you know, floor... There we go. Floor boxes. These are actually spendy. They're about 40 bucks a pop. Um, but the way the walls are in here, you couldn't really get into the walls, unfortunately. But anyway, yeah, there's the hickory for this room. Actually, that's a little bit more than the hickory that needs to go in this room. Um, and then over here, I may just do the bamboo um, if I don't have enough hickory left over. But the kitchen is... Uh, Actually going to probably be done here in the next week or two. Um, I've got the last piece of countertop. I need to, It's over the shop, and uh, I need to bring over here. Oh, by the way, um, the shop is kind of like an undisclosed location. Um, I don't really want to get into that, but it just it's not at the farm, and it's, it's at a good place. Anyway, um, yeah, so undisclosed location. Um, I just need to go ahead and cut this last piece of countertop. This wall here is kind of wacky. It's got some big, you know, undulation in it, um, which I did not notice whenever I hung the drywall. Um, so I kind of need to build a piece of trim or, you know, finish a piece of trim to go in here. Um, I just now noticed that uh, uh, whenever I was, you know, bringing or you know, trying to set the countertops and figure out how much I needed to trim the countertops to actually get them to fit, I need to describe this trim it and then go ahead and get the countertop set and then uh, this countertop I'm just going to prune off this end here slide this one over and then uh, just attach my other section of countertop to the end of this one here and then this one is pretty close to where it's just going to stay and uh, I got cabinet doors that need to be built and then corner cabinet corner cabinet I need to hang the range hood and that's about it. Um, trim around the window, I guess. I hook up the dishwasher, but it's really going along nicely. I'm really pleased. Um, I may put crown molding on the other uppers. Uh, I have not decided yet. I may just go ahead and throw some crown on there. Uh, just try and kind of spruce it up a bit. But yeah, the Oak Street house is coming along. This room, we need to get painted in here. Uh, and then we're just, I'm just going to leave the ceiling. It's Fairly nice looking acoustic tile. I'm just going to leave it. Um, I've, the owner here has decided they want a similar sort of treatment with the uh, dual crown moldings there in here. So I need to get that cranked out and finished off. Unfortunately, the ceiling in here is kind of crappy. We didn't touch this one. This is just as it was. Uh, I just hope my, um, who's the one that's at my uh, um, um, smoke detector there is out far enough to do you know something like this i'm probably just going to do same as i did in the other room there rather than this uh type of uh arrangement but yeah going along really nicely uh i now that i actually have the uh, time lapse program i probably will take 
some video in here uh, uh, tomorrow as I attach the countertops. I'm thinking I'm just going to go ahead and use some Festool dominoes and just, you know, kind of domino stuff together uh, with the, you know, 10 by 50 dominoes. I'm trying to make it as sturdy as I can, then I'll just cut out for um, the sink there. There's a countertop or cooktop that goes right here, and then another sink that goes over here. And yeah, then it's uh, kind of getting down there to where there's not too much left. Anyway, I'm Darlington Farm. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And once again, remember, remember the 5th of November. And I'll leave you with, I don't know, a shot of the kitchen here. Everybody have a good day.